the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. It's, it's important. It's important for you, it's important for me to know the truth and, and, and make sure that the truth makes us free. So I'm going to uh, share that on the screen. Matter of fact, let me come back off for a second. Father, thank you for this opportunity to come and worship, praise your holy name. You said two or three gathering in there, you did a miss of us. Father, thank you, invite you to present, wait, your presence in the midst of us. Move us out of the way, let the Holy Spirit have his way. Father, I thank for this message touching those who need to be touched and blessing those who need to be blessed. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, amen. So one of the things is the truth will make you free is the fact is it started in John 8, verse 31. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, if you continue, and that's the critical piece of being you know, a believer, if you continue in my word, not other people's words, not pastor's words or, or somebody else's word, but the word of God. If you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. See, it says make you free. Make means to push you in the direction that is acceptable to, to God. Amen? It's a fourth. I, you know, I like this one. That's what we said that he was led by the Spirit of God and the children of God. Is that the, the you can stay, you continue in the truth, the truth pushes you in the right direction. Then answered him, then answered, they answered him. We be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How says thou, ye shall be made free? You know, I don't know which people is talking about being that they are being occupied by the Roman Empire at the time. What what I don't know what they said, they'd never been in bondage. Uh, that's not true. They was even in Egypt, right? For 400 years, they were in the bondage. Anyway, uh, also in the Babylon, they were in bondage, right? So I'm not sure what they said. We were never in bondage to the man. How sayest thou, and ye shall be made free? Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committed sin is a servant of sin. And you know, that implies, that goes... You know, the Bible said all the sin can short the glory of God. So that, that part about the fact that Jesus said when he committed sin, it's a servant of sin. Serving sin. Right? And the servant abides not in the house forever, but the son abides uh, ever. If the son, therefore, shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. And Jesus does say that, that that's what makes us free is, is, is the word of God. Jesus Christ, that's why you need a savior. You know, listen to the word of God and not try to fall in line of man. Man was so deceitful. Uh, regardless of how we sit there and say it, when we really get down to it, man, the heart of man, in Jeremiah 19, 17, verse 9, the heart of man is desperately deceitful. It's deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. So just remember that. I know that you are Abraham's seed, but you seek to kill me because my words have no place in you. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and you do that which you have seen of your father. Think about that, y'all. When you come, you know, <laughs> who are you following? And in our case, if you call to mind, you go by what you see from your peers, from your parents, and everybody else. If they're not in Christ, then you're talking about following something else. He said, what you've seen of your father. And they put, he put a small F there, and, and when he identified God, he put this big F, right? He said, in verse 39, they answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said unto them, if you were Abraham's children, you will do the works of Abraham. Interesting, y'all. Whose works are you doing? But now you seek to kill me, a man that has told you what? The truth, which I have heard of God. 
this did not Abraham. He's in there saying, it's the word of God that I'm telling you. I'm telling you what God said. I'm telling you the truth. He said, you do the deeds of your father. Then said they unto him, we be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. Interesting. Jesus said unto them, if God were your father, you would love me. For I proceed forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my words, and that's interesting when people try to tell you, this, this is what my, uh, my friend was saying. Uh, <laughs> he said, uh, I don't you know, I, I think I, I said earlier the guy said only thing he listens to the news that that gives him the truth that he wants to hear opposed to the truth that you need to hear right <laughs> but Jesus said that's maybe that's why sometimes people can't understand you because they understand what they believe is truth not the word of God because if you go by the word of God then you'll find out that the that some of the action behavior that that you see does not is not acceptable in the eyes of God. He said, why do you not understand? The verse 43, why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my words. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. And how many of us fall in trap instead of going by the word of God? What does the word say? We go by what pastors say, what the political party says. And all that does is just throws you off because God is the one that matters. Verse 45, and because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. If it don't line up with the, with, 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 you know, any of the media, right? I don't care what media. If it don't line up with CNN, if it doesn't line up with Fox, if it doesn't line up with some of the far right extremists or the far left extremists, if it doesn't line up with your parents, if it doesn't line up with your friends, yeah, you, you, you don't want to hear it. Jesus said, first again, and because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. What do you convince me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of God, think about that, y'all, listen, because I just sit there and be of people who can't put you in the heaven, can't put you in the hell, but you listen to those people anyway. He said, he that is of God, verse 47, here is God's words. What words are you hearing? When you, when you see the justification for anger and distrust and division, when you sit there and accept that, you, are you saying that you're hearing the word of God? You hear the word of people and the passion that they have, especially when they have the passion of hate. He said, you therefore hear them not because you're not of God. You need to understand that. Listen to yourself. Look at your actions and your deeds. Remember we talk about the fruits of the spirit? Love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there no law. And you do something contrary to that. You know, I was listening to a video the other day when somebody sat there and say, if Christians would just act like Christians, I thought that was amazing the statement the person was making. If Christians will act just like act like Christians instead of acting with no mercy. The, oh, I think I think first thing people act just like Jesus. Do you act like Jesus? Or are you the people who wanted to stone the woman that's part of an act of adultery? So anybody that does something that doesn't line up with your will and your taste, and you're willing to stone them, do you really think that you're doing God's will? But the point is, you don't even hear the truth. You don't hear mercy. You don't hear love. When people got to sit there and have a problem with love, you got to sit there and say, what, what is wrong with the person if they got a problem with love? But once again, verse 47, he that is of God hears God's word. You therefore hear them not because you are not of God. 
Verse 48. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, Say we not well that thou art a Samaritan and has a devil? See, people love to label people, people. They love to label people. Why? Because that's, that gives them a justification to ignore what they're saying. If they're saying the word of God. Jesus answered, I have not a devil, but I honor my father, and you dishonor me. And I speak not my own glory. There is one that seeketh and judges. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keeps my saying, he shall never see death. Isn't that important for us, though, as believers? To understand is that we keep his saying, if we keep his ways and, and stop sitting there, you know, I remember when Joel Osteen came out and was talking about the harmony and peace and stuff, and it's like, oh, he's giving that, he's giving that sugarcoat Christianity. And posing the fact is that what did Jesus do? What did he say? Did he sit there and start talking about stone somebody? Crucify somebody? Put somebody down. Huh? Only people that he even put down were the people who try to put, judge other people. And made them listen instead of sitting there acting like hypocrites. He said, Very early, but I said to you, if a man keeps my saying, he shall never see death. Then said the Jews unto him, Now we know that thou hast a devil. Abraham is dead. Look at that. They're talking about and they understand when he's talking physical death, he's talking spiritual. Abraham's not dead. His body is not dead. But he's not dead. But that's what they look at. Abraham is dead. And the prophets, look at all the people that were God is dead. And thou said, if a man keeps my sin, he should never taste death. Are thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead? Look at that. <laughs> Think about it. They don't know what they're saying. Because talk about when we talk about God, God says he's the God of the living, not the God of the dead. Physical death is one thing. Spiritual death is another thing. But they are clearly, clearly saying, Abraham, Father Abraham, which is dead, and the prophets are dead. Who makest thou thyself? Jesus answered, if I honor myself, my honor is nothing. He made that something we all need to understand, too, because some of us get offended. Some of us want to sit there and, 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 and raise, you know, uh, say I'm better than somebody else and they get offended when they find out that they're not better than somebody else. And they want to hurt somebody that they can envy and jealousy because they are, when they label people, they want to put them down. And think about that's a pattern. They use this scripture over again to tell you the truth. There's a lot of stuff in there. First, verse 55. Ye, yet ye have not known him. But I know him. And if I should say I know him not, I shall be a liar, like unto you. But I know him and keep his saying. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. Then they took up stones and cast at him. But Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. Because it was not his hour. But look how quick when people get offended about the truth. They want to, they want to put people down because they don't want to, they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. That, that's the whole point is that people don't want to hear the truth. They want to hear the truth that they want, the truth that they perceive. And the question is, what about you? Is it is it anything that is a lie, but you can made it a truth? And you've been taught some things as being true. But you 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 gotta understand this is your opportunity, just like mine to trust and listen to what the Word of God says, because that's what matters. It doesn't matter about political parties. It doesn't matter about uh, doctrines and philosophies and, and attitudes and behaviors. 
It doesn't matter because the only truth that matters is what the word of God says. And I hope that that, that makes sense. As a matter of fact, I think, you know what? I, I think sometimes we should milk these scriptures over and over again. Like, like I mean, like uh, Fred Price used to do. It, it, until we get it. Because we just, I think that, that was a very rich, I was looking at that as I was reading through it. I said, man, this, this is something you can just keep on uh, milking until you get it in your spirit. And maybe we'll try that. All right, well, I hope you had a, a, a good time uh, listening to this or at least a revelation listening to it. And, and I think we'll go over it again. And let's, you know, maybe one of the things I think, well, maybe I should start doing videos <laughs> where you milk a, a scripture, some scriptures for the week. So we can milk it. Milk it means to get as much out of it as possible until we uh, get a conclusion and final peace from it. Amen? All right. Well, God bless you. I hope you have a great weekend uh, coming up. And I pray for your safety. And I pray for your, the mercy and the favor of God to be on your life, on my life, on my family's life, on children's life. Uh, I just pray, Lord, let's, let's just end these things going on in uh, Ukraine. Let's, let's learn to try to live with one another, start trying to dominate one another. Because see, it's the truth that makes us free. It's the word of God that makes us free. See, the, the bombing is going on in, in Ukraine. That's, that's based not on truth, that's based on lies. The desire that some people, you know, China wants to attack Taiwan, that's based on man's desire, not the truth, not the word of God. We need to, we as believers, let our light shine so we can let the word of God be the truth and the manifestation of reality in our life and those who we come in contact with. I thank you for this time, for you guys listening. Let's pray out. Father, I thank you for the opportunity for us to go into your word. And we'll continue to meditate in your word day and night. And allowing the word of God to make us free and keep us free. And be able to preach the truth and let people know the truth is more important than the lies of man. I thank you. And I praise your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, amen. All right, God bless you. And I will see you next time. Amen. God bless.